All right, guys, a couple updates on the experiments I've got running. So first of all, this is my spirulina experiment. And as you can tell, I've got no spirulina. So this one, I'm going to call it on this. Um, it was my fault. I got the culture and I basically left it in a box for a month. Uh, no light and basically killed it. So I was hoping that maybe a little bit survived and was going to come back to life, but it's been uh, how many days? 18 days and nothing has changed. So shut this down. Um, hopefully I can get myself uh, another culture and I'll give it another shot and this time I won't kill it. So uh, probably what I'll do is I'm going to empty that out since I still have all these uh, bottles. And I've got a little pile of brine shrimp eggs. Probably turn this into a brine shrimp hatchery. See if I can grow some of them. And we'll see how that turns out. So, yep. Um, first experiment, fail. I'm going to head on out to the pond area. And we'll take a look at the uh, frag tank I've got set up out there. Alright, so I'm here at the pond. And give a quick update on the frag tank i got set up out here. But before we do that... Fish haven't eaten yet. Let's give them something to eat. Goldfish in the pond are doing okay. All right, back to the frag tank. <clears throat> so I set this up last week. And it's basically just a 10 gallon tank. Got a small power head in there. There is no heater or light. Just um, let, just seeing what happens, just letting you know nature take care of that. And this week has been pretty much overcast, a lot cooler than I had anticipated. And today it looks like the temperature is, it's about 74 degrees Fahrenheit about 24 degrees Celsius. Um, so yeah, the water's been a lot cooler than I thought. I thought it was going to get really hot in here. But this week was pretty mild. Um, put a few more frags in here. Nothing crazy. Uh, got some, a couple of different kinds of digitatas. There's a pasapora. Uh, some montipora caps. There's a candy cane. Everything seems to be doing, I mean, really hasn't changed a whole lot since uh, when I put them in here, which would be to, expect, to be expected, I guess. It's only been a week. Uh, but just if I could make some observations, I mean, the pulp extension on the coral seems to be doing just fine. Uh, can't really see. Sorry about that. The camera cut out. Um, I was going to say, I can't really say too much about the coloration since we're out here in natural sunlight everything always looks different so we'll see once we bring them back inside in a couple weeks put them under the blue lights if anything has changed um, like for sure this is a Hollywood stunner but as you can see it is very brown um, it did have browned out in one of the tanks that I put it in and I think it was just under some really terrible lighting so we'll see what happens outdoors if anything changes on that um, Zoanthids, they do seem to be pretty small and closed up, but again, they weren't doing so great indoors either, so I don't know if it's uh, just, I don't know, <laughs> see if they perk up out here. And yeah, that's about it. Um, green star polyps do appear to be a little bit smaller than they were under the LEDs, but I'll we'll see how it goes. Um, they are sort of under the shade of the tree right now. I'm wondering if maybe it'd be a better idea to move them over into this corner, get some more direct sunlight, or maybe I can cut some of those branches back to get some more sunlight in here, but I don't know, we'll see. Just kind of an experiment to see what happens when I put them out here and uh, see what happens to them. So I'll keep you guys updated, maybe in another week or so, see if there's any change and uh, find out what happens. So that's about it for today. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.